Okay, you should copy these into page 21, right? So this is page 21 in your notebook. Um, <clears throat> you don't have to have it all like that, but you just have to have the rules, right? Okay, so right here, it's really light. My, uh, my printer's dying, so it's A squared minus B squared equals A plus B whoops, times A minus B. Okay, <clears throat> and we've done this one before, so I'll go through this pretty quickly. Um, we're reminding you of this because the cubes is very, very similar, right? So right here, what is the square root of 25? Square root of 25 is 5. So the way I can write this is 5 times n squared, <clears throat> right, minus... What's the square root of 64? Square root of 64 is 8. So this could be 8 squared. Right? So it's a different way to write it, but now I know what A is and I know what B is. So if A is this, I get 5N plus 8. Right? Just like that. A goes there plus B whatever b is so 5n is a 8 is b and i also get 5n minus 8. all right same thing here <clears throat> anytime i'm trying to do this first of all i gotta make sure that i can write it as a squared the square root of 18 doesn't work right but one thing i can do is i could divide both of these by two right that's gcf so i could do gcf first I divide them both by 2, the 2 comes out in front, and it's 2 times, now it's 9x squared minus 25. This I can take the square root of. So this is now 2 times the square root of 9 is 3, so that's 3x squared minus 5 squared okay so I still have this 2 out here but now I made it into a, a problem on the inside okay so my 2 will still go in front but now I have a I have B so it's 3x plus 5 3x minus 5 all right so they're showing you like how they can make these problems harder um, you can always do GCF and then go back and do difference of squares. I'll do one more. Um, actually, I'll do this one right here because this one requires you to divide the 2 out. So if I take the 2 out, because I know there's no square root of 8, right? But I could take the 2 out, that goes in front, and now I have 4y squared minus, uh, what's 98 divided by 2? 49 right these are what we would call perfect squares that's two squared that's seven squared so I have two times 2y squared minus seven squared I know we get a whole bunch of parentheses normally I would do this and then just remember to put the two in front but the two goes in front a plus B And A minus B. Okay, so you'll see they'll start asking us to do multiple steps at once. You do greatest common factor, pull that out, and then do difference of squares. And you'll get a lot of problems like that. Go ahead and try that one right there.